Yo, what's up everyone? Dave with Kato Productions here, and I'm gonna show you today how I use Scalar uh, as live input inside Reaper. Uh, it's actually really easy to do. So there's some videos out there on how to use Scalar. This is not a plugin review. Uh, I'm not gonna show you how to do anything. This isn't a tutorial. All I'm gonna do is show you how to use uh, Scalar uh, for live input and actually capture the chords coming out uh, live. Because uh, there's some videos how uh, people will, um, you can drag and drop them. And if that's your workflow, that's great. But that's not my workflow, so that's not what I'm going to do. So uh, I've got a basic uh, synth here. It's called Hybrid. All right. Uh, it's set up for this channel. You can hear a little chord playing there. Or I'm sorry, a little pad, paddy kind of keyboardy thing playing there. Okay. So that's set for just keyboard input, all right? Um, input MIDI, all MIDI inputs. Uh, I've got it quantized, so if I record that, uh, it will just play some stuff there, right? And if I show the snap, maybe to a better resolution, you can see that it snaps, okay? Big deal. All right, so let's delete that. All right, so now what I've got over here is I've got basically a duplicate track with nothing on it. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and pull up Scalar over here and uh, I will just pick some chords, chill. Boom, so those are some nice chords, okay. I'm gonna go ahead and set that to bind, so. Right, so that's playing that when I uh, play it single. Uh, but I really don't want the output, right? So I'm going to turn off the output there. Uh, and then this is the fun part. All right, let's make a send here. We'll turn the audio off. Uh, we'll turn the MIDI, leave the MIDI where it is. All right, so now, now we've got that piano playing we've got the midi chord let's bring this back over here so you can see we've got that playing okay here's what we do the last bit right click there record output and midi okay all we have to do now is hit record And you see it's quantized and we've got the chords. And then if we need to go into, uh, you know, uh, our MIDI edit editor, we can just do that. And that's basically all I wanted to show you for this video. So you can see you can drag it in here and now that is part of that track and you can record other tracks or whatever your workflow is. Uh, you can certainly incorporate this into your, um, you know, larger template if you've got, you know, 16 in and out. But just wanted to show you that because it can be done. And if you like to play live and don't really know the chords like me, then you can, this is how you can set that up. So I hope you found this helpful. And that was it for today. All right, later.